So I wanted to do a video uh, of a sketchbook tour, mainly because I see a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube share these tours of these sketchbooks when every picture on each page is beautiful and polished piece of artwork, which I feel is a bit disingenuous. Because I feel like every uh, artist should have generally a sketchbook in which they experiment and scribble and make a mess. And as a beginner, when I'd see these sketchbook tours that were completely polished pieces of artwork on every page, it was a bit disheartening and put me off. So here is the first sketchbook I ever finished, which was a big achievement for me because like a lot of people I know, you just keep buying more and more sketchbooks and not actually finishing every of, any of them. So this I started in October or so last year, which I thought was about a good time to get this out considering it is about nearly October again. So I got this for Inktober. So as you can see, a lot of it is just messing around with getting some anatomy down and practicing some like things like rib cages and pastels. Um, I've sort of gone off pastels for a while. Yeah, playing with brushes and ink and every now and then trying to do a nicer drawing. So I'm just gonna be relatively quiet as I go through. This is the person that wanted to be drawn in a cartoony style off Reddit gets drawn. Uh, same for that guy. That was a self-portrait I did, uh, which was, I really got the eyes way too large, which I found really quite funny in the end actually. So I like it, I kept it. Um, doing some furry anatomy. Um, this is really handy for a lot of D&D style stuff where there's more animalistic type creatures and things. And that is a soft pastel drawing of a rosy maple moth. Um, just gradiating out pencils. That, I have no idea what was going on. Um, this, these eyeballs, I think, were stuck in my head from a movie Beetlejuice that I watched when I was younger. Trying out different anime style eyes. Practicing some profile things and cartooning stuff more. Again, I don't really have a style yet, but I'm not so fussed about finding it. I figure it just come when it's ready. Um, so mapping out some facial structures. Um, this is another like moth-like creature that's stealing a tooth because I figure tooth fairies are real. They're probably more insect-like. Uh, this is from Katy Perry's Baby, You're a Firework. So Drew Gill is a literal firework. Um, again, mapping out proportions. Copying some other people's style off the internet that I like. It's a cartoon of Michael Scott. Um, it says copying a friend of mine's drawing and then making it with a stupid face. Um, this is from my friend Scott Baxter, which I really like the perspective and stuff. There's a stupid joke. You're a blizzard, Harry. Um, this here is uh, my attempt at... Uh, a D&D bard who's incredibly unattractive. So he's got like a little like seedy moustache and his teeth are all wonky. Sorry, my cat's here. Hi, Juniper. Come on. Come on now. Sorry. Um, so it's playing, copying some um, pastel tutorials off YouTube. Quite happy with how that looked. So this is when I um, started off kicking into Inktober, so experimenting with different things. So hatching for shading versus like diluting ink and water. Um, I still haven't worked out which I like more, hatching. Um, so this that's a self-portrait again. I like drawing myself. Um, this is a play on words. Uh, exhausted was the prompt for the day. So I've got egg, sauce, and a teddy bear. Again, so this, this is a bit more tighter hatching versus really loose hatching. I don't like this really loose hatching. I regret doing that. Um, ideas for stories and characters and stuff. Um, more character ideas. Prompt for the day was uh, spell. So here we have a spelling bee. Uh, some other people who scribbled in my book for me. This was a nightmare I had once. Yeah, some more fairy like stuff. Um, this is um, done with some copy like textures. They're chameleon markers that my wife has lying around. <laughs> I went, I got bored. I didn't know what to draw this day, so I just put on Facebook, "What should I draw?" And one of my friends suggested Bowsett. So there's my crack at Bowsett. You see, a lot of the anatomy is all a bit janky, but the more we practice, the more we get better. 
some Australian Spider-Man based off the Sydney funnel web. I feel he'd be much more effective. Um, it's a drawing of my sister in her um, Day of the Dead makeup. Um, I really liked, um, oh, what is it called? This show that was on Netflix. Um, not Heidi. Dang it. Um, Hilda, that's the one. Hilda, fantastic show. I was just copying out the art style because it's really, really cute. Um, roasted was the prompt for that day. It's got a little guy with a honking great coffee. Again, co using this, um, putting a box in the background makes the pictures look a little bit more dynamic, which is a chick, uh, trick I got off Draw with Jazza. Um, my wife, Megan, she'd been smashing Stardew Valley at the time. Uh, this one, I, I didn't know what to do for Precious, so I just asked a bunch of people what they consider Precious. Um, and one guy said baby seals and another said baby birds, so we just we'll stuck it together to get extra Precious. Uh, just more scribbles. So then it starts getting to that point of uh, Inktober where you start running out of time, so you just smash out really quick little things. <laughs> uh, wasn't sure what to do for that one. This I kind of really liked, it's a lot of really dark contrast, except his head's way too big, but it's a guy I'm making, a fisherman making a net, if you can't tell. Characters from story ideas. This is a guy um, from Angel Beats, the prompt for the day was Chop, and one of the only things I remember him saying in the actual show is Chop Chop Chop. So, uh, I think he's called TK. Uh, another dream I have all the time is pulling my teeth and they just get longer and stretchy. Um, sorry, there is a drawing of penis. I don't know if that will get me in trouble on YouTube or not yet. Um, playing with markers. More characters. More mess. More scribbles. This is copied off reference. So that was me trying to like do this character from a story I was writing from my head and then finding a reference image from a cartoon and then copying like his features onto it. Um, so that was just taken off Pinterest or something. Um, it's my idea for another tooth fairy creature. Realise they wouldn't really need arms. Um, looking at some figure drawing and getting some more anatomy down for eyeballs and things. It's engineers. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what feet look like. Well, I've gotten a little bit better at feet. A bit more anatomy practice. That was one of my friend's drawings. Um, drawing shoes helped me get better at feet. Um, oh, I, I like drawing dresses and skirts. They're quite fun. Male clothing's a little bit more boring to draw. Um, this would be if there was a fifth planeteer. Uh, silly comics. An accidental drawing of what I think looks like Richard Flanagan, who is the author who wrote uh, Arrow Road to the Deep North. Um, again, it was funny. We're sitting in a car on a rural board, so uh, we're playing a game where I'd draw a thing, and then my friend Scotty would draw a thing. You can tell he's a little bit more practiced uh, at art. <coughs> kind of busy's job. Cool. Every now and then I'm just doodling something without reference and I really like how it turns out. I feel like that reminds me of, um, oh gosh, what's the name of that lesbian? Ellen DeGeneres, except like if she was really old and a man. Uh, again, just more idea of things I intend to draw at some point. I usually have a couple pages of this in each book. Oh, this is when I started doing Ahmed al Duri's 100 head challenge. You're meant to, the idea is you draw 10 heads a day for 10 days and you're meant to get uh, really improve your portraiture. Um, I don't have the time to do that, so I try and do it like one a day. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. So I'm up to something like, oh gosh, this was a long time ago, but I'm only up to like 70 or 80. It's a lot of really cool um, sculptures and stuff in the list of heads to draw, which are really different and interesting, so... If you, if you want to get better at heads, I recommend going over to his page and checking that out. Yeah, from there on out, it's pretty much just mostly lots of heads. Trying to just sort of come up with a more cartoony style myself. So 
I feel like this is more what a real sketchbook tour should look like. All the mess. Uh, it's pepperoni pizza. So it's pizza with eyeballs on it. Um, again, playing with different shading. I've sort of gone away from hatching to more rough. Drawing more softer shading, which I, d I don't like very much. It makes things look a little bit too airbrushed. I think I like the texture of the pencil. And yeah, that's, that's it for that. Alright, so that is my first ever sketchbook tour. Hope it was entertaining for you. Thank you for watching.